The yearling was shot mostly on location in the unrelentingly humid forest of central Florida, an unusual decision in 1946. At the time, studio heads believed they could recreate virtually any location on a Hollywood backlot and soundstage for a lot less money than it would cost to send cast and crews to far off locations. But producer Sidney Franklin insisted, eager to give the yearling an unmistakable sense of place and authenticity. So MGM sent the entire cast and crew off to Florida to battle sweat, mosquitoes, and a wide variety of snakes. When shooting rap, director Clarence Brown had just two words to say about making a Technicolor film in the swampy Florida woods. Never again. By the way, today is the last shoot for our director of research, Alexa Foreman. She's been with TCM for all 20 years. Nobody, nobody has taught me more about classic movies than Alexa. Robert and Alexa are the heart and soul of TCM. Thank you, Alexa, and good luck, my friend. Up next, our spotlight on prize pets continues with a dog that became one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. It also features two humans who did okay too, Roddy McDowell and Elizabeth Taylor. Stay with us. Today on Turner Classic Movies, Roddy McDowell's collie companion takes the high road for Lassie Come Home. Then Kelly Reno is shipwrecked with The Black Stallion. And Elizabeth Taylor is steeplechase bound in National Velvet. Gregory Peck. Judy Garland.